Oh, welcome to my laboratory. Okay, there it is. I'm using the the rotor and axle assembly from my Bedini motor. This is the uh, uh, electronics for the Bedini motor. It's not being used. This is the sense coil. This here is the drive coil, and I just have it sitting there in position. Neither one of the coils has a core, uh, and uh, so. I forget which direction it was going, but let's give it a little starting spin. Maybe it was going the other way. Well, there you have it. It's running. can't quite see the auto strobe effect. It's there, but uh, there you see you can see the the markers that I have on the disc. They're reflective tape. So we got the auto strobe. And we got the pulse motor running coreless with the mile high uh, op amp comparator drive circuit and a MOSFET. I had to put a capacitor across the MOSFET uh, gate to, or rather uh, drain the source to get it to actually switch cleanly for some reason. Not sure why. sucker was moving. So uh, you can see that there's no there's no core so there's no cogging at all of the magnet rotor. I just have to give it enough of a starting spin to get a little bit of a voltage pulse into that coil to flip the comparator and off she goes. Alright, this might be the world's first uh, coreless comparator driven pulse motor. I really like the fact that there are no cores and that there's no drag on the rotor at all. I haven't measured the RPM yet. As you can see, I don't actually have room to set up anything, uh, to set up the strobe attack even. But uh, I guess I can hook up the oscilloscope to it, and we'll find out how fast it's going. Thank you for watching.